Hey DIYers, Dylan here from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to review how do I enable critical notifications or critical events in the Alarm.com application. Uh, what this does is that if you want to receive a notification from Alarm.com no matter what, uh, this setting allows you to override the Do Not Disturb feature on your phone. So even if that is enabled, notifications from Alarm.com will still come through to your phone. For example, uh, so if it's late at night, you have do not disturb or the sleep option enabled for your phone, uh, where normally you're not gonna get any calls, text messages, any notifications from other applications. Uh, having this critical alerts uh, feature enabled will override that. So if you have an alarm at your panel and you're away, you're not at home, so you don't hear the siren, you'll still get the notification through here, even if do not disturb or sleep or any other silencing uh, setting is enabled on your phone that's still going to come through and alert you and notify you about the alarm happening at your panel Okay, so first thing we will do is open the alarm.com app We're going to enter our user information Log in Okay uh, so this can be enabled through either the alarm.com app or through the um, notification settings option on your phone. I'll show you how to, how to access both here. So from the app, we will go to more. We'll press notifications. And as you see, my critical alerts is already enabled. Uh, so basically, any notifications from alarm.com is going to override do not disturb. It's going to override silent. Anything like that. So if we press that, that's going to bring us to the actual uh, screen within settings. So you can customize how the notifications come in. Right here, you can enable or disable the critical alerts from the settings option on your phone if you didn't want to do it through the alarm.com app. And then you can customize how the notifications will show. Okay, so we are on alarm.com. I'm just going to make sure, yes, I do have do not disturb enabled. And then just to double check again, I do have critical alerts enabled. Uh, so what's going to come through for this is uh, certain notifications such as alarm, be it for fire or panic, uh, carbon or smoke, uh, flood, any type of actual alarm is going to come through. Uh, tamper alerts will come through. Uh, entry delay trouble, so if the delay stops for whatever reason, um, uh, receiver jam alarm, uh, and then if the uh, panic is triggered through the application, so say if you have another user that has access to the app and they trigger a panic, that will show you here as well. So again, even though I have do not disturb enabled, these are going to come through. So I will go ahead and arm the system. Set that to arm stay. Okay, perfect. I'm going to go to my home screen here just so we can see the notification coming through. I'm going to activate the alarm on the panel by opening the front door sensor. Front door open. All right. Invalid user code. Please re-enter a valid user code. Okay, and right here at the top we have the critical uh, because critical is enabled test panel front door was opened and you see this is just staying here until I acknowledge it so that's pretty good as well that way you can't miss it uh, and also the phone was vibrating pretty consistently as well during that so you can press this now I'll pull us over here back to the app and then if the alarm was still occurring we would see it right there but I've already disarmed it so we're good Okay, so that is how you enable the uh, critical alerts option on your alarm.com app. Uh, and again, so that is gonna override the do not disturb, sleep option, any type of silencing feature you have for your phone. You'll still be alerted through alarm.com about uh, any issues with your system or any normal notifications you have set up uh, for that to occur. If you did like the video, please like the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to be notified about any future videos we release. If you have any questions for us, feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 888-818-7728. Our email address is support at alarmgrid.com. 
And if you come to our website, www.alarmgrid.com, we have a live chat option on there as well. So feel free to use any of those to contact us and we'll be happy to assist you. Again, my name is Dylan from Alarm Grid and thank you for watching.